so i will give a basic idea so general how to save the program how to save the program file name uh, java we will save java. program dot uh, java extension with super dot java extension okay super so who is founder founder james gosling james gosling ha uh, year 1995 1995 okay so company sun company micro name systems. sun micro system sun micro system so later sun micro system hmm, acquired by uh, arkil arkil so now java is under control of arkil okay. so initially java is called as uh, oak, oak. oak so here in in our world java is called ora right ora yeah. ora means right ones and run anywhere. anywhere that's it okay so here so that's it this is overall idea now i will go for today's session is completely on uh, operators before discussing operator just i will give brief idea about variable uh, variable is just like a container which holds single value right yes or no means we can store value in memory by using variable so we will define variable by using data type data type so data types are given by java guys to restrict the data which is coming into which is coming into particular variable her data type given by java guys ha uh, which restricts restricts the data which is stored or which is stored in variable okay which is stored in variable any questions up to this no right now variable declaration so variable declaration nothing but ha uh, data type data type uh, ha variable, variable name so end with a semicolon so data type nothing but total we have eight primitives data types are there by using eight primitives or non primitives also we can define the variable so here employee number eno is a variable name of type integer means eno will store numeric values clear and then ch and then string str and then boolean b like this okay like this we will define the variables we can define the variable by using data type ha uh, next one variable declaration variable initialization ha uh, variable declaration and initialization so initialization is nothing but assigning the value to the variable so here assigning the value to the variable by using assignment operator which operator assignment operator at very first time very first time he is called as initialization that's it that's it what the syntax observe here so here we will follow two approaches general observe approach one approach one first we will define the value variable oh sorry so here and then equal to assign the value like this two step process this is called two step process first to define the variable clear first one and then assign the value any questions no, no right similarly ch ch equal to so char so 
char data type will handle single character single character placed inside the single quote similarly string employee name here e name is a variable name of type string so this is the definition and then assign the value some uh anjali that's it yeah any questions clear everyone no ah super now boolean boolean b b is a variable of type boolean so so here boolean holds either true or false apart from true or false nothing will be stored nothing will be allowed as part of the boolean any questions up to this this is approach one approach two approach two so approach to nothing but done in single line that's it single line so if code less suppose you will write less code performance is high yes or no if write more code performance is little bit degrade okay employee number equal to 100 ha uh, char ch equal to a string e name equal to hmm, boolean b equal to true that's it so we, in these two approaches which is better the second one yes okay anything is fine but uh, recommended is go to second approach any questions up to this no any questions no right now today we'll go for operators so generally operators so what is operator operator is a symbol which performs operation on variable so means observe here this is one operator assignment operator which perform operation on this variable means here we will assign this value to this variable by using assignment operator. Any questions? No, right? No. Yeah. Now, operator types. So, we have so many operators are there. Now, operator types. So, here, uh, can anyone? Arithmetic operators. Uh, assignment operators. Sorry? Assignment operators. Uh, relational operators logical operators uh, assignment operators uh, ternary operator and then unary operator bitwise also there that is not at all important huh Read it, read it. Automatic operator. Uh -huh. Relational operator. Relational operator. Uh -huh. Everyone, no. please. Uh -huh. no. Logical operator. Uh -huh. Assignment, Assignment operator. operator. Yeah. We will go for, yeah, we will go for one by one. So here, plus comma, minus comma, multiplication comma, by comma, and modulus comes under comes under arithmetic operators so here plus what the purpose of plus this symbol huh plus symbol used to huh perform addition right addition 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 of two numbers super so observe here syntax Suppose I have n1 equal to 10, int n2 is equal to 90. Huh. How to perform addition? n1 plus n2. n2. Right? Huh. So here, 10 plus 90, 100. Again, that result will be stored. One more variable, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So here, variable definition done or variable def still variable not at all defined? Not defined. Yet. Yeah. You must and should define that variable by using data type clear? clear now second one ah huh? minus 
used to perform subtraction subtraction, subtraction of two numbers not only two you can use any numbers ha huh. in 10 1 is equal to 10 so here 10 1 minus, minus minus and then here subtraction any questions up to this any no. questions no right now similarly ha huh. i don't know can anyone explain star star nothing but ha huh. multiplication star is it to perform use it to perform multiplication of two numbers multiplication of two numbers, two numbers. that's it ha huh. syntax so everyone follow right yes yes yeah so uh, here suresh i have one question yeah the uh, question question about uh, subtraction mm -hmm. if this sub is equal to 90 minus 1 right can we store uh, minus negative values in yes 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 yes, yes 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 so integer will maintain some negative as well okay okay thank yeah. you now next one by hmm. anyone it is used to perform division, to division, of division of perform numbers. division of two numbers division of two numbers two numbers i will give shortcut for this so what is the division now observe int n1 is equal to 10 int n2 is equal to 5 so now int div equal to n1 by n2 so what is the result please observe so here n1 by n2 what is the n1 10, 10. 5 right yes or no? otherwise one minute huh? okay um, 5 10 okay what is the n1 5 n1 5 5 ah, 10 5 2 zero. how much 10. 10. 10. So now this is considered as by. Clear? Yes. Is by. And this is for reminder. Generally, reminder considered as modulus division. Okay. okay. Any questions? Nothing. So here. Modulus. So here, use it to perform or use it to or use it to get reminder, reminder or modulus division. That's it. Okay. Any questions? No sir. No sir. Good. Mod. So, can I go practical for this? Up to this? Yeah. Hmm? It comes. Now observe here. Class, huh? Driver, public, static, wide, main. So here, string ox. String ox. Now here, observe int n1 equal to 5 int n2 is equal to 10 okay now first i want to perform sum equal to n1 plus n2 any questions up to this any questions nothing so. system dot out dot print ln sum. here sum so here this line is responsible to give some output to end user okay now copy. So how to save the program? So today's date Saving is that, that job. That job. six twenty twenty two. Driver dot machine should uh, extension with Java and then click on all files. That's it. So this is high level language. Wherever your program is there, go to that folder. Go to that folder, select this path, and then type CMD command prompt. 
now i am going to convert high level language into low level how to convert high level into low level converting high level language into low level is called compilation we will perform compilation by using java c java c stands for java compiler java c space driver dot java now we will get low level language please mute some noise is coming so low level lang so now we will get low level language so here developer cannot understand low level language so developer cannot understand low level language only mission can understand low level language now we will give input low level language to your mission how to give it by using one command command name is java java space your driver now your mission read line by line execute it and give some response to end user 5 plus 10 15 any questions no sir yeah now similarly subtraction yes int sub equal to ha uh, n1 minus n2 uh, so i will copy paste this purpose this line purpose is to give some output to end user sub now mal yeah is it easy or difficult guys easy hmm? and easy. then do any explanation required for this or not required not required so everyone clear right so your requirement is up to this part how to define the variable how to perform operation highlighted one only understand remaining will understand later sessions now compile it and run it yeah observe here yes so everyone good right arithmetic operators yeah any questions on that one any questions no now can i go next one yes sir yeah you can sir yeah relation operators i will go relation operators and then i will stop it okay so you are initial right that's why i will go very slow later onwards i will go little bit fast okay not little bit fast i will take some extra time on weekends like that okay okay yeah so here we will build conditions by using by using relational operators so here relation operators will evaluate the expression and give result that's it so here ha uh, double equal to one minute double equal to not equal to okay less than symbol comma less than equal to comma greater than and greater than equal to comes under relational operators that's it okay so here first one double equal to ha huh, can anyone double equal to double equal to single equal to is nothing but to assign the value right yes or no hello yes yes yeah double equal to use to compare numeric values what is this numeric values so here suppose both values are equal then return true else return false that's it now observe here now in this case observe n1 equal to equal to n2 ah uh, both are true or false 
False. Boolean B. Now print. System dot out dot print ln B. Yeah, false, right? Suppose now, uh, now in this case, it is true. Yeah, super. So to compare numeric values, we will use double equal to operator. Single equal to is nothing but to assign the value to a particular variable. Yeah, any questions? No, any questions? No. Okay, super. Now, next one is less than, less than equal to, and then greater than, greater than, equal to. Yeah, observe here, less than. Uh. So what is the purpose of this one? So here, generally it will compare two values, right? Compare two values, yes or no? So here observe, A less than B. What is the meaning of this one? If A is, A contains less value compared to B, then returns true. Otherwise, returns false. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Right. Same thing. So here, suppose A's value is less than B's value, then return true. Else, ah, uh, return false. false. Super. Now observe. Ah, uh, in this case, in this case, false. False. Both are equal, right? Yeah. Yes or no? Now, now, now. True. Four greater than five, nothing but four is less value compared to five. That's why it returns true. Yeah. Any questions? No, right? No. Okay. Next one. Ah, uh, less than equal to. So means ah. Uh, it will compare. B's value less than or equal or equal, both it will compare. So meaning is compare both uh, less than or equal, both it will compare, means A less than equal to B. So here, what is the meaning of this one? First, it will compare, uh, compare A's value less than B's value. If yes, returns true. Else, false. Suppose it is not matching, immediately it will compare. Huh? Compare both equal or not. Clear? What is the meaning of this one? Observe. In this case, huh? please observe. First, B's value is. Huh? Yes, value is less than B's value or not? Sorry, N's value, N1 values, N1 value is less than N2 value or not? Yes. Yes, it returns true. True. Suppose here, now, now, yes value is less, sorry, N's value is less than N2, N1 value is less than N2? No. No. Again, it will compare equal. Both are equal or not. Huh? True. True. Clear now? Any questions? Any no. questions? So, so last two. Can we do single program? Hmm? Greater than and greater than, greater than equal to. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Observe here, ah, what is the meaning? So N2 value is greater than N1 or not? If N1, N2 value greater than N1, so it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. Ah, in this case, return true or false? 
false. Yeah, super. So here now 10, otherwise minus 10. Ah, huh, now. Now false. False, false, right? Yeah. Yeah, false. So now observe. So here int A is equal to 10, int B is equal to 10. A greater than equal to B. Now, uh, now what will happen? First, we will check B value is greater than A value or not. In this case, both in this case, false, right? B yes. value greater than A value, false. Obviously, it will check again equality. Both are equal. If yes, it returns true. Any questions up to this? So relation operators, any questions? So logical, now next one is logical operators. So here, one more. Here also, we will build conditions by using logical operators. So basically logical operator, operator verify, condition and return boolean value boolean means that may be true or false so here what are the operators comes under logical operator logical and or logical or pipe symbol and not these three comes under comes under logical operators any questions any questions no, no. right so now this symbol is called is called as logical and so here returns returns true if all conditions satisfied in given expression if all conditions are satisfied returns true okay if any one condition if any one condition fail then ah uh, return false clear false. what i am telling hello yeah so if you want i will draw the diagram observe expression one expression two last one is result so here first one second one plot yeah yeah so keep this one it will help for me for next one as well Yes. Now, logical and symbol is this one. Okay. Now, assume this is expression one. What is this? Expression one. And this is expression two. And then here, result. Expression one, huh, logical and expression two. So this is bit uh, BTEC, right? BTEC standard, yes, and logical and. Huh, can anyone guess? Uh, true, first expression true, second expression true, both are true, finally returns false, sorry, true, right? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, so here, any one condition fail, uh, what will happen? Suppose first expression fail, second second expression true. 
हाँ फाइनली या सुपर हाँ फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन ट्रू सो सेकंड एक्सप्रेशन फॉल्स एनी वन एक्सप्रेशन फेल इट रिटर्न्स फॉल्स सुपर हाँ बोथ एक्सप्रेशन फॉल्स फॉल्स क्लियर नाउ दिस इज द लॉजिकल सो If all expressions in a given condition satisfied, then returns true. Otherwise, returns false. Okay. Next one, I will go for R. Logical R. Logical R denoted by five symbol. That's it. First one is expression one. Expression two. Ah. Huh. Expression one, pipe symbol. Expression two. Yes. Ha. Huh. So uh, logical R nothing but ha. Huh. Can anyone guess? Uh, anyone true? Any one true. condition is true. The entire expression true, right? Yes. Ha. T T both condition true. Returns true. 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 Super. Ha. Huh. Suppose first condition true. One minute. Ah. Huh. Ah. Huh. Second condition false. Ha. Huh. True. True only. Any one condition is enough. Ha. Huh. Next one. Ha. Huh. False. Second condition true. Ha. Huh. Finally true. True. Ha. Huh. E F. Both are false. 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 Clear now. Yes. Clear guys. If any one condition true, logical R returns true. That's it. Any questions? No. 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 Last one is logical. R. Not. Logical. Uh, not. Logical. Not. Exclamatory mark. That's it. Now observe. Expression one. Expression two. Before this, logical not. Yeah. Any questions? No. Right. First expression true. Ha. Huh. False. Suppose here false. Ha. Huh. Negation. Inversion. Ha. Huh. First expression false. Obviously true. true. Clear, true. guys. Clear. Yes, sir. Yes. One minute. Ah. Huh? Logical operators. Now, so here next one is logical or logical logical or returns true if any one condition get satisfied. Okay, that's it. Now. Last one is ah uh, logical not so here inversion of reverse of your expression so for your expression returns true reverse of your expression nothing but false okay logical not denotes reverse of reverse of expression expression result. So, for your expression returns true, logical not returns false like this. Clear? Hello. Clear, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. So, please observe here. Now, int a is equal to ten. Ah, uh, int b is equal to ninety. Basically, so logical operate to build the condition a greater than zero, logical and ah. Uh, B greater than zero. Now in this case, ha, huh, this is logical and it will. This is one condition and this is one more, more, more condition. First condition is true or false? First condition true. is true or false? True. This is true, and then this is true. True, true. 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 Super. System dot out dot println ha. Huh, B. B one. Any questions up to this? Any questions? No. No. Okay. Super. Second one. Ah. 
condition true or false 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 first false and true false and true false only right yes yes yeah like this will build the conditions yeah true false any questions no no yeah next one i will show you same thing less than odd symbol five symbol ha huh? this condition true or false 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 okay false it will go for second condition verification true or false true true second one, false true 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 super in this case of r clear clear okay. now last one system dot out dot println of b3 what is the b3 result true 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 this is logical not ha ah. False. 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 Super. Yeah, that's it.